From Clarkwoods.com, this is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 171. I'm Chris. This isn't Fartwoods.com. <laughs> From Fartwoods.com, this is Horribly Off... Oh, stop it. And I'm Steve. I'm farting. Um, you better not be. We're in a, like, a little room. <laughs> well, what, I, and why, I shut the window so it wouldn't be cold in what, here. What do you care? You can't smell anything. Yeah, but it might it might invade my. <laughs> it like, might invade you. It might be so bad smelling I could taste it. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I don't. I, and I don't want to make things worse for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I gotta start off saying like like I know we're we're I think we're both sacrificing <laughs> here tonight by by doing this show. I know you are very sick. I'm not right? very sick, but I am. I'm hopefully on the on the tail end of sick. You're on. You're. you're ooh. I, a tail end of sick doesn't sound not very nice. I mean, what if the tail end is farting? Well, I, if, if if farting could make my sickness go away, I, I'd be gassing it away. But you, you just told you me would be. you just told me not to fart. Well, if I so could maybe not, I should fart. Well, d- will your farts make you not sick? I'm saying my farts might make you not sick. No, but it's only my farts. That make oh, me not sick. only your farts are magical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using uh, Donald Trump. I mean, child logic. <laughs> I have a friend, Brian Ballinger, who um, wrote a book called Animal Gas. Now, this book came out um, in two different editions. Is, I that, the... is that like classical gas? Yes. And no, I, uh, no, I don't know. Do, classical gas. Hmm. No, no, it's not like that. <laughs> there were there were two editions of this. I think the first one was a Kickstarter project, and now I backed the Kickstarter project. And what you got in return was a children's book that was a scratch and sniff, or more to the more more to uh, it was like a, a rub and sniff. Because apparently, if you scratch the scratch and sniff, that makes it, it go a, away faster. Well, yeah. So you rub it, and so the conceit of the book was it's a bunch of animals, and each one of them thinks that their farts smell amazing, and you rub the um the various fart and so on the first page the first spread it's what they say it smells like and it's like rainbows or it smells like waffles or whatever <clears throat> and it smells it? great and so then you flip the page and you find out what it really smells like from the animal that's standing behind them and the animal that's standing behind them will tell tell you that it smells like rotten eggs or whatever and then you rub that and that's the smell you get so I really love that version. That is not the version that um, went out uh, widely. So the version that went out widely it doesn't have the scratch and sniff. Um, it just has it just the, has the, just the, the words to describe the, what the words. Smell yeah, like. and which is still very funny. And I'm very proud of Brian. He got he like you know those <laughs> you know those um, game stores in the mall like the GameStop or no no like the ones that are like Funko so, Land. Well, they're like puzzles and oh, Legos yeah, 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 and yeah. like they also have they uh, wanted the Fizzle Lane Mall, but it's like like I remember when it opened, it was like this this little kid opened up his own toy yeah. store. <laughs> so it's and he just his dream since he was a little boy and i'm like he's still a little boy <laughs> and his parents probably fronted him the fucking money yeah josh's toys josh's toys it's still there at pheasant lane mall it, if you want to shop there now the one I'm, i imagine he's grown up by now i imagine he's he's, he's, he's not a toys there? Us kid anymore <coughs> do you think he works i mean he's there? a josh's toys kid to- toys kid do you think he works there like do i think josh works there at um, josh's toys hmm because I remember that opening up at least ten years ago. So if I he was ten years old when it opened, he's yeah. twenty at least. Uh, so he could work there. He could. He could. Maybe he's still hanging out. Do you think? He every time I've been going in there, to college it's been, it's been and a, like, um, you know, so a younger ex- woman that's working in there. Every time I've been in there. What? I, I, I'm deaf. Remember. Oh, sorry. Every time that I've been in there, it's been a younger woman that's been in there. So um, my kids and I happen by that. Um, younger than what? <laughs> younger than. Um, younger than what? That's a, younger than like you. I that's mean, that's a good that's, question. It's a lot of women. I yes, there are a lot. Zing. of Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks. Um, but there's a lot. You are like there's a lot that are older than you too. Chris. There, there are there are a lot of women in the world. Yes, they, they're like there's a significant like 50, amount. You are at a point in your life where there's a lot on both ends. A lot on. Hmm, mm, that sounds sexy. Um, <laughs> maybe no. this show will be called a lot on both ends. <laughs> Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, so my friend Brian has this book and it's not at Josh's Toys and Games, but there's one at the Burlington Mall. I forget what that one is called. Is that and, also run by a little kid or, it, or what, uh, which was once a little kid? I, I imagine that all of the owners of all of the shops in the mall were once little kids. No, but like, did they open it when he was Oh, kid? uh, I don't know. Is there a ghost or did I just not shut it all the way? 
<laughs> I think Hold there's on. a ghost. I think there's a ghost. We, we're gonna need a Where'd third. We're gonna need to get the third parts? mic out here for the ghost. Hold on. There's uh, uh who are you gonna call? There we go. Hmm. Um, we could have so, paused for that, but no. <laughs> This is, no, not we today. Are, we are sloppy because I am sloppy sick. Right. So to to get back to the to to, to the uh, I think the original point, you are sick. Yes. And that is you. You're sacrificing. I mean, you're getting. You're on the mend. So we're doing this on Monday night because you were really actually, sick. We actually probably should have done it last yesterday <laughs> because I was feeling slightly better yesterday. Which and you thought it was no gonna... fucking sense because the mm. only exertion that we did was to go see the the movie. Yeah. Which yeah. was the, the Thor movie. Which maybe was saved to the end <laughs> so that if people don't want to be spoiled, they, they yeah, can... Well, they can... Yeah, we could... Well, we, we could... No, we should do our plugs first and right. then do our... Then do... Okay, yeah. Because yeah. then people yeah. know who we are. Because you got a plug. Because you, you might get a... We might get a couple new listeners because your yeah. book... Yeah, this is true. People that have flipped to the third flipped to the, page the last page. Yeah, it says uh, you get an E in your ears. That's what it says. I mean, I'm sorry that it's me centric, but it's my book, so I was like, "It's fine." If I ever write a book, I'll be like, "I'll be a S Listen in to your just Steve on this podcast." <laughs> it doesn't say that it's just me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> so you make you're making the sacrifice of of, of being sick on the show, right? Right. Let me tell you about the sacrifice that I'm making, Steve, because I think it's a very big sacrifice. You, 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 you are. I mean, this I'm, is... sitting at my house right now. Uh oh. Sitting at my house right now. It arrived this afternoon. Oh shit! Is an iPhone 10 waiting to be unboxed? Holy arriving shit! Arriving three weeks earlier than it was supposed to. Wow. <laughs> and that is nose blow worthy. I am here uh-huh. with all of you, uh-huh. our fine feathered. No, you're not feathered. Our fine, our our, our p- p- possibly possibly fine. No, our our uh, p- p- preposterously fine Wait, podcast you, listeners. Why are you stuttering? I I was trying to find a, a an a, an alliterative uh, uh, end to that sentence. Our preposterously sentence. fine, preposterously fine. Um, our preposterously fine podcast. Listeners. Are you just saying things wrong, or am I just super no deaf? no no? You're not. I I I made a mistake, and I'm I'm just trying to correct it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so my iPhone is sitting at, is sitting at the house. My kids are probably like, "When is he getting here so we can open it?" And the little do they know, I'm getting there. Prob. Uh, I like, mean, they might. My my older one might still be up by the time I get back. But then you know what? Tomorrow they have the fucking day off because it's election day and all the. Um, Why do the kids get the day off? Uh, oh, because, because the polling because places the polling are at places are at the school. You know, it would be cool if like you know people that work for a living got the mm. day off that would be nice <laughs> so like you what you weren't you wouldn't you wouldn't uh like you like mandatory every mm. person in the united states gets election day off yeah except for the people that are working at the polling places yeah and they and and maybe make it mandatory if they actually go to the polling place well i mean I mean, I, I as just, much as I want people to vote, there, there's a lot yeah. of dumb people that would that, that would that <laughs> just is. might make worse mistakes. Yeah, it is true. Um, I know more about what's going on in the because I have friends out there who are running. I have know more about what's going on in the Portsmouth, New Hampshire um, city council race than I know anything is going on in. We my, already voted for selected, right so I don't know if there's going to be an election tomorrow for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I there's something in Chelsea. I haven't heard I any. I haven't I seen anything downtown because we were downtown the other night, so yeah. I didn't see anything about election mm-hmm. tomorrow. So I think yeah. we, I think we just did it early. You dodged a bullet. Yeah, well, I could just say like you know I don't think my boss listens. I, could be like, I gotta leave early. I gotta go vote. <laughs> I gotta go vote. I have to take the whole. Well, not taking the day off, but I'm working from home <laughs> tomorrow to watch the kids, and then Friday. This it's fucking ridiculous. So last week. The kids had like three days of school because of power outages. This week they have three days of school because tomorrow's election day and Friday is uh, a Veterans, day? Veterans Day or Veterans Day observed. Why is it on a Friday now? Usually it's on a Monday, right? Um, well, it's always on the eleventh. Oh, and so it, uh, since the eleventth is on a Saturday, um, they're, they're they're giving us. They're, they're, well, I I don't think we get it, but uh, yeah. I think my next day off is Thanksgiving. Yeah, I get it off because because uh, <laughs> universities, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, and that's lucky because I don't have to take the day off or work. For you get a lot of Jewish day. holidays off too. Ah, uh, no, you, oh. you would you would think so with all with all the Jews in education, right? 
Is that what the point you were trying to make? No, I thought no. you might get more holidays, not just the regular plain old Christian ones. I, I get the high holy days off? No, I don't. Um, no, we do get um, uh, we do get some some time around Christmas off, like more time than than average because the yeah, co- because whole the college co- kind of sl- shuts down. Well, I mean, I mean, even, but your your administrative duties might mm. might still be required over like. A... Uh, they actually shut everything down for like a week around Christmas. Oh yeah, so, so does so does my company. They like yeah. from like Christmas till New Year's. I think it's we, just weird. We I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. We, I mean, no. we get the time off. Like, yeah, it's, it's yeah, not... it's it's paid. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's nice. <clears throat> um, but I, I so I mean, I, I just I, I brought up the phone because I just want to say like if I'm distracted tonight, it, it's <laughs> you know it's just that I there's a phone that's waiting for me. It's, it's and you it, need to sing sing it's, emoji it's, songs. I do. Need... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like I had the idea for like an emoji uh, series or something on on the YouTubes. I'm sure everybody else did. I did not have the idea for emoji karaoke, which of course is what has become the big thing over uh, over the weekend. It's emojioki. I think. Emojioki. Is that what they're doing? It. I don't know, but I like that. We're it's, sticking with that. Yeah, I'm Emo- gonna coin it right there. Emoji-o-key. I'm sure like at least 1,600 people have already said that Probably. before me. But today. but I'm gonna believe that you said it first, Steve. <clears throat> Yeah, you heard it first. If this is the first time you've heard it, yes. Um, and I think I think it's a neat concept. I want to see people go further, though. I would like to see somebody um, actually take a I don't know, like a stationary body, like a, like a Beavis and Butthead style body, right? And then somehow maybe that's just the backdrop in your in your iMovie file, and then you put the um, you put the uh, the talking emoji heads on top of the Beavis and Butthead bodies. I well, think. Can't they just be like Beavis and Butthead? Can't like you know, Mike Judge be like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before uh, somebody creates apps like that uh, where where it maps your yeah, face. Like, and you, you know, everybody be... really likes Beavis and Butthead. These I days. really like who who doesn't like Beavis and Butthead? Come on, they're a national treasure. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's 1993. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm old. Um, <laughs> when did I get old? Oh, it was just a couple weeks ago. Oh, uh, I think, I think I'm, I'm just old because I have like, I'm getting, I'm old. Well, like I'm deaf because I'm, well, You're, I'm actually kind of deaf to begin with. Yeah. I have trouble hearing like people. I think it's becoming a running gag at work where mm-hmm. like people are like, will say something to me and I'll be like, ha. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That happens to me in class. I got and I think there's one student in particular who is very, very upset at me because of my uh, my hearing loss. Um, and I, just, oh, yeah, dude, I, yeah, I know, like you fucking oldies the, losing your hearing. The, I, I, we, whatever generation Zers or whatever, yeah, we can hear, and we don't want to speak up. Yeah, yeah, no, I, this particular person. Um, I have. I think. That, I think part of the problem is this person sits far away from me, um, and then I, sometimes I do that dumb teacher thing where I try to restate a point that the necessary means for a necessary means for a higher education. Yes, indeed, and that was, no. from, that was from the Big Lebowski. Oh, okay. Um, uh, and and so I will. I have sometimes when my hearing is particularly bad. Uh, repeated the wrong thing or repeated a complete misunderstanding of what this person was saying. And and I watched the look on their face as they sort of start... It, it starts as kind of a rolling of the eyes that turns into a grimace that turns into a can't even look at Are you at like me. a lecture hall? Uh, no, this is a small... This is a small enough room, but they're they're far enough away from me that my, my hearing, you know? I think it's I just went to too many uh, Nine Inch Nails shows. Yeah, I didn't go to that many shows. And and when I did, I would never really... I never understood the... I guess I was old before my time. Mm. Never understood the going up to the front of the stage and crowding the stage. Yeah, I, I never got there myself because those tickets always cost more. No, I mean, if most of the shows I went to were general admission. So yeah. if you got there early enough, you could be there. Like, mm. the, you know, I, I've, I've been at... I've been at shows where I could have easily been in the front row of the concert, yeah. but I chose not to because I don't like being crowded by people. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I think I can look back in hindsight and say I don't get it, but I was definitely jealous to a certain extent because I would always I went to a lot of shows where it was general admission if you had floor tickets, but I never had floor tickets. It was at like the Worcester Centrum or whatever, and I had the seats up in the. Not the bleaches, but yeah. What the fuck is it called now? Uh, DCU Center, I think. 
something like I that. I saw a hockey game there once. Really? I've was, ne- I, still, I saw the Beastie Boys there. I've still never seen a hockey game. Never seen a hockey game live. Oh, okay. I've never seen a, a football game live. Yeah. I've never seen one. I, you know what? The only... Or basketball, for that matter. Oh, well, I, I, I've seen the the uh, the second-rate um, uh, Globetrotters, which are the Harlem Rockets. Oh, ooh. I don't know if that counts That's as like the, the, going the, to a the, basketball That's like the B-League, game. C-League uh, Globetrotters. Like, they don't even have the fun little song, the uh, little whistle song. That's, uh, were they any good? Um, they, they, the, 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 they did tricks and stuff. Yeah. And we had hot dogs. I don't think I've ever seen any sport, sporting event, professional, uh, sporting event that is aside from a baseball game. I, you know, as much as I like basketball, as much as I like football, <laughs> never seen anything, um, uh, aside from the, so the, the, the Sox and the, uh, the, the Manchester, uh, whatever they are. Um, the, uh, the, the, the Fisher Cats. Be- bean bags. <laughs> Manchester beanbags. Yeah, yeah, they play. Uh, I've seen I've seen hockey in uh, in several different. Uh, yeah, I've seen the Bruins. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I I saw up in Manchester they had like the the police versus fire department. Oh, like, okay. Mm-hmm. Like a uh, charity game thing yeah. that was kind of fun. Um, and I went to the Worcester Sharks. I think I don't know if they're there anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I. Definitely, I don't know what it was, what it is now, but it, the Lowell Lock Monsters at the time. Mm-hmm. I think they became the Lowell Devils, and I don't know if they there's still a minor league hockey oh, that's, team. I, yeah, I, did, I never even knew they they changed from the the Lock Monsters. One of the first job interviews I had out of out of college was mm. uh, at at the Songus Arena. Yeah, uh, to do um, to do some calls in between plays. Oh, interesting. But I, I did not get the job. No, not. How far did you get into the process? I was at the arena interviewing. So you like that's pretty far. <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah. Well, I I think they they missed out. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, people are gonna be like, if you want to eat a big honking pile of sandwich, go to <laughs> Supas after the game, and you'll eat a piece of sh- you'll you'll take a shit larger than a than a than a than a, than a boathouse than a boathouse. Bo- oh. Mm. They, they, big... and, and we know boathouses down here. I mean, Lowell. it's got to fit a boat in it. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tried to fit a boat in your colon? I don't think so. Well, but you will be have able you to. Have ever tried to fit something that would fit a boat into it? Into your colon? <laughs> I don't think so. But if you go to Supa's, they're going to give you that kind they're of gonna shit. They're going to give you some chicken, some, uh, some fried chicken. It's going to have pop, jalapeno poppers, mm. french fries. Some spicy sauce, some cheese, yeah, and it's gonna be uh, like like this big. It's, it's oh, it's huge! It's yeah. gonna be the size of. Uh, it's like a party sup, yeah. only for just you. And when you're done, <laughs> you have to uh, write your last will and testament mm-hmm. quickly. Mm-hmm. Imagine, but, imagine what people would say at your funeral. They would say. Why did he eat that enormous, disgusting fucking sandwich? <laughs> I was just listening to a podcast on the way over here where they were talking um, about the... Um, uh, they, as a project, read the book by Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And they hated it. And uh, one, of the, one of them... One of them was to eat big sandwiches? One, no, but one of them was about <laughs> um, imagining, uh, imagining what people would say about you at your funeral. Oh. And like living your life... Uh, a reach, a changing your life around by imagining what people would say about you at your funeral, or what you would want people to say about you at your funeral. And I was just like, well, I just did, the whole conceit of the episode bugged me because why were they spending an an hour and a half of their time and my time just bitching about something they didn't like? Well, that's what we do every week. Well, we no, no, but see, we bitch about many different things we don't like, and you can go things... to UMass Lowell to get a higher education. <laughs> At a cost that's less than a private university. Mm. UMass Lowell, right near Supa's, where you can eat a big, giant, terrible sandwich. That'll make you shit out of Boathouse. And there's also, I think, a place that serves bubble tea right near there. And oh, I forget what it's called. Tea. What the fuck is bubble tea? It's it's like... like a is it su- car- carbonated? No, 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 no. The bubbles are tapioca balls. Oh. So you get like you get... Like a flavor, usually, mm-hmm. usually it's not super sweet, but it yeah. is slightly sweet. Um, 
there's like you can get like a kiwi or like mm-hmm. some sort of melon flavor or yeah. taro or some other thing. Ooh, t- hmm. yeah, Ta- taro. And they they put it in this little cup and they seal yeah. the top of it. Right. And then they give you a big old straw. And you know, stab it through like yeah. a, like a Capri Sun packet. Mm. And you you start drinking it, and every once in a while, a little ball of tapioca floats up into your mouth. Ooh. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't like it when balls just float into my mouth. I mean, a ball. I mean, into it's, my... it's 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 something that you you you're probably going to expect because okay. like I've already told you about it. And yeah. uh... well, I, I get that. I just it's like <laughs> if I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, I kind of want it there intentionally, and I kind of want to know that it's coming. Yeah. So I if mean, you are drinking ball bubble isn't... tea. There's a good chance you you know that it's coming, and yeah. you 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 should be aware, and then you might. Have you ever had tapioca? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure it's it's sort of just tapioca. chewy, like like. I, I mean, I've had that, like uh, people refer to like when people talk about tapioca, they they usually talk about tapioca pudding. Yeah, yeah. And but like like straight up tapioca is like a black, like about the size of a marble ball. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit smaller, so yeah. it fits in that big old straw. I don't know. I just I so my students um, tend so, so you I get have, bubble tea in your class and not share. They don't. Well, they don't always get bubble tea, but there are a plethora um, in the in the downstairs. I, I, don't be creepy. Um, but there's a plethora of um, Asian food places in the downstairs. Who are you telling not to be creepy? I'm saying if people wanted to find out where I work, I mean, of course, it's pretty easy, but. Um, I'm saying don't be creepy by by saying oh what what college well, I don't know has if a Mike, bunch of I don't know uh, if my 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 friend Mike from work mm. has made it to this episode yet and he's the yeah. only one that's that's almost figured out where you used to live. <laughs> I don't think anybody else really gives a shit. <laughs> well anyway, there's a bunch of Asian food places in the Haven't downstairs. Have you said where you of- teach before? I probably I don't know, but but it's, but, but imagine it's a really that, not hard research project. <laughs> just listen to one of the episodes where you say the name of the place where you work. There's a so there's a um, uh, there's a lot of Asian food places down there, including a bubble tea place, at least one bubble tea place. Um, and well, they usually do more than bubble tea. They like do bubble tea and some other. Well, shit. there's like a like a kiosk that oh, does. Do that they does do like tea. a green tea um, like smoothie or something like that? They might. I don't know. It's, oh, it, like if I is, if I was still doing sweet sweet mm, food, yeah, like I would want something like I like. I like a green tea ice cream. Like, yeah. See, the thing is that I'm not the biggest fan of any particular kind of Asian food. Like, I just just I don't like know stereotypical it's... like Hong Kong. I like yeah. I mean, I I can deal with Amer like highly Americanized um, uh, Asian appetizers like like uh, like chicken fingers, chicken and fingers, teriyaki, uh, p- 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 uh, beef on a stick, uh, all that, all that fried rice. Yeah, I mean, so basically all the stuff that Americans <laughs> might eat at a mall um, in 1985, you know, like it, and it's just it's, like uh, like a Panda Express, like that's, yeah, that's what yeah. you want. You don't want um, you don't want uh, you don't want to go to the place that we used to go to in Woburn, mm, Sichuan Garden too. And I'm yeah. gonna give them a plug because yeah. the for freezies, yeah, because they do really good food yeah. and they do it. Um, I mean, they have some of the the uh, Americanized stuff. Mm-hmm. But they do uh, authentic Szechuan, yeah. Uh, which uh, so Szechuan spices. I think we might have talked about this before, but Maybe. if we haven't, fuck yeah, them. It's, it's, it's this, episode one hundred and seventy-one. Like, yeah, mean, it's, there's a lot know, of fucking episodes. Ages ago. If you forgot about me saying this, well, here it is again. Mm. Szechuan spices. Uh, they they are spicy to mm. the taste, but not not as like significantly as like a habanero pepper. Or, like, yeah, yeah. Some sort of ghost pepper or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, the way they they uh, they are spicy is they kind of make your tongue and mouth numb. Mm, mm. And I don't so like the that. first the first time we like had it, we were very surprised and we didn't know what was going on. I thought I was having an allergic reaction to mm-hmm. something that was on the chopsticks or something. Yeah, and then we, <laughs> we looked it up and we're like, oh, we're, it's just it's supposed to happen. See, I, I think it doesn't go the, completely numb. I, it's it's the spices and it's just the general smell of of Asian food that just I don't I don't know something about it just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't click with me. I, I don't even. I don't even like what we call Chinese food all that much myself. Like I'll. I'll eat it because my wife loves it. Um, uh, Do you but, guys go to the Hong Kong? And... Uh, that's that tends to be where we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> There are some better places nearby. Like if you go to like Bamboo over in Westford. Oh yeah, Bamboo. I mean, see, I used to when I worked in Chelmsford um, at a really completely We're shitty getting local place for that... you, kids. A completely shitty place that I never, uh, I hate thinking about. But but um, the VP there 
um, loved bamboo, and we, but he hated crowds. So we would sometimes go to bamboo, like we like start 10, our lunch at like, like yeah, ten thirty or eleven, and I, I'd be so <laughs> because I hated working there uh, for the most part, not always. But, but he was taking you out to lunch. He wasn't taking us out to lunch, but like we would all go out to lunch. Oh, and it was a big. Um, it was a big uh, gathering of the cool people at the office, like the juggalos. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but but I at that job ha- always tried to time my breaks in such a way that I wouldn't be driven insane. They always had to come in the middle of the day because the the job was so fucking terrible. Um, and uh, my boss, not my direct boss, but my the the the, the, the head of the company. Made things so miserable, not just for me, but for lots of people. Was but it I, just like micromanaging bullshit, or yeah, yeah. But but he was he was the type of person who found a scapegoat in the company, um, and uh, everything that was going wrong in the company was that person's fault. And then basically he rode that person until they quit, or he found an excuse to fire them. Um, and then he, then when that person was gone, he'd just move on to whoever the next person was, who was the reason that everything was bad. Seems in like a real gem. Oh yes, he was. I saw him at the uh, at the bank. Um, he still recently. That, uh, recently, yeah. Um, <laughs> the uh, I, I was. I I hope that he did not recognize me. I was not rocking a beard uh-huh. at any time during those years, so I'm pretty sure he had no idea who I was, but. I knew who he was, and I was not happy. Um, but well, I'm sorry I brought up bamboo. Chris. But bamboo. But anyway, no, bamboo is fantastic, um, and I would love to go back to bamboo more often. But I haven't been there in years. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 actually pretty close. Yeah, yeah, it's very close to. to There's our another house. fusion place eh, over by over in Westford, mm. where uh, in the plaza that Blockbuster used to be in. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Getting local are, for you. Getting real local. Yeah. Um, what is that one called? I forget. Oh, okay. Yeah. I. Uh, <coughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm. I'm thinking of a different one. Um, because uh, there's like two plazas over there: the the Westford Valley Marketplace, um, uh, and Westford Valley Marketplace Two, or something like that. Well, the the old one. The old one. The yeah. one where Market Basket used to be. Where there's the uh, the Whole Foods now. It's a Whole Foods now. Yeah, oh, okay. it's a Whole Foods now. Um, at any rate, uh, so. Kind of just ran out of steam there. Yeah, well, it's just I was looking for a transition, and I didn't, I didn't really have one. There's <laughs> a bunch fine. of things. Who gives a shit about transitions? Transition this, you motherfuckers. Um, you shared some very exciting news with me yesterday uh, via our, our little uh, little text text message text message thread text, text message me. thread. Um, after we decided to to put the put the show on pause yesterday, you sent me a uh, a graphic that that had your name on it. It did. And, uh, and your name was pretty high near the top. Why don't you tell the listeners about this? All right. So if you've listened to the last uh, eight or so weeks, mm. uh, you will uh, you will be aware that I've been participating in a pinball league. I, 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 I remember that. And um, I uh, started off doing relatively okay. I mm-hmm. had a couple of off weeks here and there. Yeah. But for the most part, I did uh, pretty all right. Yeah. And uh, I ended up at the last week, despite um, having the beginnings of this goddamn cold, mm-hmm. and so I didn't drink any booze. You know what? I, I, I kind of played a little better. <laughs> wait, wait, you, you didn't drink. And, and I did better. better huh? Hmm. Who would have thought that would happen? That's, it seems like there's some correlation there, but I, don't, I, don't I, I can't figure it out. I was, uh, I, uh, yeah, I got a, like, so the way the, the point system might work if we're... Mm. If you're in a four-player match, uh, the person that comes in first place. So you play four games. Yeah. Uh, the person that comes in f- first place for each of the games gets ten. Mm-hmm. Second, six points. Mm-hmm. Uh, third gets four points. And last gets two points. Okay. So you add all those up at the yeah. end of the four games. And whoever has the most wins that particular round or right. whatever. And uh, I got a 32. And 32. So that, that, that is, uh, that That's is, pretty good. That is a ding, 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 ding winner for yeah. me. And that's two weeks in a row. And so I, I finished up with a bang. A big bang. A big bang. Is there a theory about this big bang? No, but there's a uh, there's a new game from mm. Jersey Jack, the, the other pinball company. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's called Dialed In. Which is, mm. it's, it's actually a pretty interesting concept. Uh, and um, 
it's it's not like a licensed thing it's like okay. they actually came up with oh, a, an original idea original idea oh fuck for uh your, i think it's sort of like the um what was that sleep no no it wasn't sleeping dogs the fuck was that goddamn video game um <laughs> it's the it's, uh, it's not something you would know okay uh, watch dogs maybe i think mm. so like i think in that game you have a phone and it can control things in, in the okay. city well um in this game, you you have this phone. There's like this little man yep. that that uh, you you shoot, and it's, it's sort of like a little uh, target. And then mm-hmm. when you we shoot him, he kind of moves uh, in the way of other okay. shots. Yep. So you have to shoot him again to get him out of the way. But when you shoot him, it charges your phone. He's got little electrical things. Uh, coming oh, out. okay. So you shoot the man to charge the phone, which starts modes. Mm-hmm. And you play modes, you get points. The yeah. modes are basically destroying the city so it's like you know when you would play sim city Mm -hmm. uh and you would you would give up because you couldn't like get a megalopolis or whatever and uh you would just start destroying the city with uh Uh, with with natural disasters so yeah that's that's basically what it is but you're playing pinball to do that Mm. (laughs) it's an interesting concept um there's there's a, a shot like you know, there's there's a side flipper, and then yeah. if you, you know, hit the right, hit it correctly, you will go up the side ramp and whatever. And blow up a city. No, not necessarily, mm-hmm. but maybe. Um, but uh, there there's a there's a shot right near the the. So if you miss the the side ramp, there's like a shot that says light big bang. If you hit it enough times, you mm-hmm. will light the big bang. Yep. If so, if you start a mode. Yep. And I'm, this is way too much inside pinball <laughs> right now, but I don't give a fucking shit. If you if you light a mo- if you if you start a mode yeah and then you hit the big bang mm-hmm. it automatically completes the mode regardless of what it is okay and so some of them are like a little bit more tricky where you have to hit the the targets that are like on either side of the ramps right. which mm-hmm. are dangerous shots you don't want yeah. to intentionally shoot them yeah which is typically what you which you what you unintentionally shoot for most of the game because <laughs> you miss your shot and you hit yeah. one of those fucking targets and it comes screaming right down the middle right which you don't want no. Uh, but if it's like one of those modes, you just like, you know, I mean, the big bang shot isn't that like easy either to mm-hmm. get, but if you can hit it, you basically complete the mode in one shot. Yeah. And after that, a SIM card is lit. Mm-hmm. And if you, if you can hit it into this little hole, uh, that's kind of tricky to get into, uh, yeah. you get like a uh, 150,000 points. And this is one of those games that doesn't have mm-hmm. like absurd scoring. So my my score of four hundred and eleven thousand mm-hmm. was the top for the evening, and a lot of people did really well that night. Nice, yeah. Okay, but yeah. So you're saying it's not one where you're up in the millions um, <laughs> or uh, billions or yeah, whatever, right? So you okay? Huh. Like I was looking at uh, the the guy. He's actually he ended up being bumped down into second in the A division. I'm second in the B division. So. Oh, see, I don't think you even said that yet. Okay, so yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm second in the B division. So. Your, uh, your, uh, your... I guess that means technically 47th overall because there are 45 people in yeah, the in, A division. In, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're, uh, you're, the, you're up there, uh, the, the second seed. You get a buy? I do. You get I a get buy. A, you're, like a... The, you're the Patriots of pinball. Have they already done that? I don't know. <laughs> Usually they're the first seed, though. I mean, so, you know, you're not quite the Patriots of pinball unless you somehow become the first seed. But yeah, the guy that um, that was is second in uh, the the A division, mm. Mitch. He's the guy who runs uh, the the pinball league. Like the the league is all over the place, so you can play in New Hampshire, you can play in Maine, oh yeah, Vermont, Connecticut. Mm. Um, I don't know if there's one in Rhode Island. I think there is actually. There's one in Rhode Island. Mm. Um, there's a couple in New Hampshire, s- several here in Mass. Yeah, yeah. And um, but he runs the one flat top Johnny's. Which is uh, in Kendall Square by the Kendall Square Cinema. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I know. What it, I, th- I think I know what it is. So yeah, he um, he he owns the machines. He runs it usually, and he's very fucking. He's an amazing player. Hmm. And so I was lo- I was just looking to see what because he like he was first like for a little while until someone surpassed him uh, simply because he missed two weeks and it's not and I don't I don't think it's because he wasn't there. I think mm. it was just because he didn't feel like playing. Oh. And he and he's the kind of player that has the luxury right, right. to miss two weeks and get two zeros. Yeah, and still and be... And still be second place in the A division. <laughs> um, so yeah, he... Um, 
he I was like I just took a peek at his scores and he like scored like eight billion in Attack from Mars and like <laughs> eight billion and a half in like uh, Game of Thrones and some other shit. And I'm like, I'm like he was not fucking around because like you know the rest of the scores oh were not God. even fucking close. <laughs> I can't even. And I'm like, I'm like, all right. He was just like, I'm, I'm fucking winning. I yeah. think that was basically what he said. I mean, my, <laughs> for people who don't know, my, I mean, people probably guess based on how good I am at video games or my, my disdain for video games or whatever. If it's come out, like, I'm not good at pinball. Like, if I, play, no one is good at pinball. If I play pinball, I'm lucky if, uh, if the, if the one quarter lasts me uh, two minutes. One quarter? Where the fuck like, are you? The, playing? the fifty cents. If the, like the fifty cents lasts me like one, one minute two minutes on, i think on that's the, actually like the way pinball designers design pinball machines mm-hmm. i think that's around the average of how long they want somebody to play i see i i feel like it should be a little bit longer than that i feel like i would like video games a lot more if well the video initial, games are different than a pinball well game. video any of these games that are like designed to like i don't know i'm thinking about the games that are on my phone too and eventually i get good at them but it's one of the reasons I stopped playing so many games right out of the gate is they're so frustrating to begin with. And it's the, it's the odd <laughs> game that gives you some sense of satisfaction and gives you a couple minutes of, of uh, fun before it sells you you're an idiot and, and kicks your ass uh, that, that I dig. Whereas the ones where you know the fucking ball goes up and then it falls right down the middle and no matter what I do... Like three times in a row, and, and now, now I'm done. Like, well, that, like I mean, if you play an older machine, yeah. like a lot of those, uh, like the people in the community call them luck boxes because mm-hmm. they are literally that. Like, yeah. if you get a bad bounce uh, off your plunge, it's right. going like out, right out the out lane or right yeah, down yeah. like the middle, and you're like, and there's literally nothing you can do about it because those mm-hmm. older machines, if you tilt them, you tilt the game away, mm-hmm. so you don't get to play anymore. Okay. Yeah, and so it's just like, like if you tilt a like a modern machine, yeah, it just tilts the ball, just right. your ball, yeah, and yeah. then the next person goes up, and typically, a smart player will mm. wait a minute or two yeah. before they go and plunge their ball because the little the little tilt bobby ah, is okay. still moving around, and so if they even slightly nudge it, like yeah. they might get a tilt warning. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, um, the. But yeah, I mean, pinball is like, you know, like sometimes you get like on a really good tear mm. and sometimes you just suck. Like, like yeah. the first game we played, I had a, I didn't have a great game, but everybody else was just kind of like, they, um, they just did not have as, as good of luck as mm-hmm. I did. Like, yeah. um, like the first game we played was Dr. Who mm-hmm. and it's like there's several different methods you can play, and I'm 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 all pinball all the time right now, <laughs> yeah. like talking about it. Like there's two methods you really want to do when you're playing that game. Uh, there's multi ball, which mm-hmm. is like there's like the two lock shots straight up the middle, right? Um, kind of like the the eyes in the pin bot mm-hmm. when you lower the visor. So it's basically like that. You put them up there, and then like a, it raises up after that, and oh. there's like these little. Like yeah. colored uh, little dots or like little little red little flashy lights mm-hmm. things you hit those enough times yeah. and then it raises up a little bit more mm-hmm. and then Daleks start screaming and then mm. you, you shoot it in the middle or in one of the the three holes there once yeah. you shoot it in all three of them you get the jackpot yeah so if you can do all of those things while you're in multi ball <laughs> you can get a lot of points Right, right. And uh, I think uh, most of the other people I was playing against were doing that method. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I don't do that until ball three. Okay. Because um, I think the, the, the better way to get points is to... So basically when you plunge the ball, it mm-hmm. automatically ends up um, next to your right flipper. Mm-hmm. And so you... Wait till you're, the, the ball is almost at the end of the flipper and yeah. then get it over there's like a very small little passageway on on the left side of the machine Mm -hmm. you go up there it hits something and then comes back down and then there's a flipper right there you hit it again or you hit it and it goes around right 
And then you do as many of those loops as you can. And every time you get one of those loops, it increases the play field value. Mm -hmm. So everything you do is multiplied by that amount. Oh, okay. So then you find out that's more effective in terms of building up the points than the, the multi-ball thing with the, with the yeah. screen. So balance. if you can hit like, you know, there's times where I've gotten like a pretty decent score. I mean, like I've, I've seen people get a billion points and, mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. but I've gotten like, you know, 150 million or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And that's, that's, you know, if I had gotten that on any of the times that I played, um, like in, in, in league, I probably would have won. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just hit that loop a whole bunch and eventually one of the doctors starts screaming millions. And <laughs> once you get to four times multiplier, yeah. those, that million he says you're getting is 4 million. Mm. <laughs> Do you have to like Doctor Who to, to play Doctor Who pinball? I've never watched an episode. Oh. Well, I, I think I've watched maybe one or two. Yeah, and yeah. I, I I don't I don't have anything against it, and I'm sure that there's plenty of people out there. I'm sure it's nice screaming out, uh, screaming at their fucking <laughs> radios, phones, phones like, yeah. at themselves, yeah. walking on, going on a small walk. Yeah, that I haven't watched it, but like it's just one of those things, and I being the completionist that I am. Mm. Uh, since there are like the since there's no way to watch all of them yeah like there they, i think they actually start like one of the things that i watched recently of doctor who was was sort of half watching after a wedding we went to mm -hmm. I, like i was sort of passed out like but i had the tv on yeah and they they have the audio from one of the episodes like one of the earlier uh, episodes oh, one that of the, was lost. One of the lost ones yeah so they basically they, they made it a small like animated feature around that hmm. and so how many how many lost <laughs> ones are there do you know i think there might be like the first two series okay. um are completely gone hmm. um i'm sure there's a wiki that knows more but yeah, yeah it's, it's or some some nerd out there yeah i mean you have to, you kind of have to be a nerd to like doctor who I don't know. I think that I, there's plenty of people out there that, or or a little or a little British British kid, or you know there are there are Anglophiles as opposed to uh, as opposed to nerdy people. There, they there really like you know, things from from across the pond. Yeah, yeah. And and they don't consider it a nerdy thing. They think they consider it like you know I'm watching culture. Mm, yeah. Well, they, they 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 like that culture. They should go back and uh, and ask the mother country to take them back. Sure. Be, 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 be fucking American. You should like your, uh, your, your fucking, um, what's light, American? Light your farts. Was light light your, uh, come on, baby, light my farter. Um, but yeah, I did well in pinball. And you're going to, and, and so I'm going to the finals. You're going to the finals. Yes. Um, so like, do you, is there like a monetary prize involved or is I there... think if, if I do get some, I, I think if I do place in like the top three, which I like, I am not holding <laughs> Wait, my top three overall or overall, top three within your division. Yeah. In the B division. Okay. But I mean, still there's, uh, as far as the people that are competing, mm. uh, I think there's going to be like 20 something people. Okay. So yeah, I have a one in 20 chance, mm -hmm. but like, I, like I said, well, like, three I, in 20 I, 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 I am sporadically good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like th this past week, like I, I like, you know, how I said, like two minutes for average for a game of yeah. pinball. Like I had that, my first ball of dialed in was, was probably about five minutes. Jeez. And some of the people that were playing with me, they were like, all right, fucking hell. <laughs> they were just like, okay, we can just go home now yep. because he's fucking opening he's, it up. He's on. Yeah. And like the, like the first, my first ball, like was a, was a better score than I'd ever gotten in the game before. Wow. <laughs> I, I mean that that has the few times that i've done well and i i whatever whatever is less than sporadically does well that's me <laughs> the few times that i've done well it's been like one ball is amazing and then the other two i just lose right away um, I, had, I had actually two two good balls <laughs> well you know it's it's good when you're uh, as a man uh, it's generally expected that you have two good balls can I mean, you hear my blowing my nose. Yes, is it really loud? It, well, no, it wasn't really loud. But oh. that's why I was pausing where I was. Well, where I was it was for uh, for comedic effect. Okay. Um. So I got I got to tell you, like, so this. I got. I, 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 I got to tell you. I'm in your corner. <laughs> uh, this weekend, I went to um, the the Ipswich Author Fair, which Ooh, was my. Where's my, Ipswich? Uh, that is near. Get local for these people, so I can remember where it is. Ipswich is like out on the seacoast. It's like I feel like it's near Salem. Maybe like Northwich, Ipswich, Ipswich, Massachusetts. See, I don't know. I have such like shit knowledge 
of the North Shore. Okay, so I, here's what I can, here's what I can tell you for sure is that I took uh, I took I took the four ninety five. Nice. I I had to do you took the, the what? you took what I took the four ninety five. Took Route four ninety five. <laughs> That's weird. I took four ninety five up to Andover, North Andover. Um, and then to basically took back roads headed uh, east from North Andover all the way out to the coast. So it's, it, I mean, I don't think I went very much north. I eventually crossed over Route 1, which is the route that runs all the way from Maine to Florida along. Uh, sort of parallel to Route 95. Yeah, along the coast. Um, <clears throat> and then, so I ended up in Ipswich. Now, I know there was water around there. I did not see any from my vantage point at that, at that library. So... Uh, it switches somewhere near the, the, the water. So did you talk to any people while you were there? Or, I, or I were did. you constantly I, I, being shushed? I, uh, <laughs> no, that's not how the library works anymore, Steve. I'm just I, fucking around. Anyway, I don't even want to talk so much about that. <coughs> but but so I, I went there, saw other authors, um, talked to talked to readers, sold a book. Um, uh, and, a book? A book, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it didn't do as well as, as some other folks. But... Um, one book that was better than... You should have been like, Hey, baby, you missing Mr. Wingfield? <laughs> yes, I want to use my book. I'll come back a, for you later. A, come on. Um, but here, here's, the, here's the important uh, important part of this. So I'm getting up to go. Um, uh, it was like 2 to 4 on Saturday. And uh, Stephanie, my wife, is um, uh, she's looking through Netflix for something to watch. And she's like, she like can't find anything. And I suggest to her, I said, well, why don't you try Stranger Things? Because if you watch the first season, then we can start watching the second season together. Because I hadn't started the second season yet. And so I, I left her there um, at whatever time in the morning. And when I got back in the evening, she was about to start the final episode. She said, what did you do to me? And she really, like, I got my wife obsessed with Stranger Things Luckily, um, it's like not that long of it. No, there's only the, the first season's what eight, and then the uh, the second season is nine. Um, but then she like she can watch things um, way faster than I do. Like I I when I am going to watch something, as we've talked about before, I sit down and I full attention, and uh, and so I and and I need I need a break in between episodes sometimes. So I think she's fr- she's not so frustrated. she could just be like I'm playing. Bubble Witch, and she's a Candy Crush saga. Sorry, <laughs> I'm playing something where I'm yeah. blowing up things and, yep. and getting things. Yeah, and and I'm watching um... and watching things. See, I mean, I, like I can't. Oh, I, I there was an achievement today. I mm. played. I've played One Piece Treasure Cruise <laughs> for one thousand days because <laughs> I got my one thousand day twenty gems. This afternoon. Bravo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and, and did you feel a strong... Did you feel as much of a sense of accomplishment then as you did by coming in in like the the, sec, the number two seed in pinball? I had actually a good day for Treasure Cruise. I, I, got, I farmed a bunch of Bellamy's mm. and uh, I, I, I got a, a, an ambush from Young Whitebeard and... Um, uh, every... Like one in ten chance uh, mm. you get a drop of like a crystal skull <laughs> oh not not a whole kingdom of them just the yeah, drop. No, just just the one mm-hmm. and i got a, a purple one which I, I got to um super evolve my my rayleigh so if that means anything to you it, it doesn't but um okay <laughs> but i'm in i'm in i'm impressed nevertheless <laughs> um so we, we, are, we are just really quickly because um because we gotta like uh, we we gotta wrap up we well no 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 we, we want to talk about thor so but just really quickly with one thing before we talk about thor i mean how long are we can talk about thor we don't have to talk about spoiler oh well yeah we kind of fucking do yeah we kind of we got to be but so, so you can tune back in like we're, we're gonna do our plugs before we do the right. thor segment yeah and, so you can just not tune in to the end of the show if you plan on seeing the movie and but or or you can listen if you're mm. the kind of person that the, gives if you're zero like me, shits about spoilers i yeah um i just want to say i also it did not take me as long to watch Patton oswald's new special as it did to watch the previous one um i finally watched uh the the the, the i what, what's it called um annihilation apocalypse um and i, I watched it with stephanie <laughs> 
Um, I think if I had watched it by myself, I probably would have cried. Like, I think you mentioned uh, either you or Becky got teary. I think I, I, I welled up a little bit, but yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quite, I think I might've, one of them might've fallen. Yeah. I, I, I did the guy cry and Becky, Becky did a, you know, she, she wasn't weeping, but she, right. she had a couple of tears coming out. I feel like because we watched it together, we did way better. Like I, I felt, I, I don't know if any tears dropped, but I felt uh, the, the, the emotion there and the, um, I really like the 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 um, <laughs> the audience part, uh, which I haven't seen him do before. Well, he, just do some crowd work. Like he does some crowd work, and uh, and especially the first woman that he does the crowd work uh, with, who, who's <laughs> like the she's like an advert. No, she's PR. She's like, <laughs> and he and he just keeps coming back to make fun of her like the whole rest of the time. Well, like crowd work is like is is a skill. Like if people like. Mm. People say it's a hack thing to do. Yeah. To like, but like, it's it's pretty much thinking on your feet. Like, yeah, you know, it shows great improv skill. That, yeah, um, like to be able to, to to make something funny. Like you know, if, like you, you, I mean, a hack might just mm. have like stock lines for when right. someone says, "Oh, I'm a pediatrician." It's like, "Oh, what are you fuck kids?" <laughs> Can that be the title? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Although someday I think can that be the title <laughs> will be the title. <laughs> Maybe it's this week. Maybe it's just can that be the title. All right. Um, yeah. At any rate, it's a good special. Uh, I do look forward to uh, to getting it on audio because that's how I prefer my Patton. Um, but well, you got I got you. You did. You got, got me the record. You got me. Have you record. listened to the record? I've listened to a digitized version of the record. Oh, because you because I don't dad, have a record did player. You, did your dad digitize it? Um, how did I get it? No, I, you know, the first thing I did is I digitized the Netflix special, um, that, and then they, then it came out on uh, iTunes and I, and I, and I got it. Oh, damn it. Well, it, <laughs> but it, I like it can look, the, it can I look like nice on your wall, I guess. Because I also have, I, I started, and this is, I might actually get a record player at some point because there was a Nine Inch Nails record that came out and it only came out on vinyl, um, and uh, and even to get the digital version, you had to buy the vinyl. So now I own two albums. I own so, two. so you could you could have headphone those headphones on. I could have these you headphones. You sit in your beanbag chair and listen to your records. I, I, I don't listen have to the the, the jokes and or the moody music of mm. Trent Reznor. Yeah, yes, I, I, indeed. Actually, it might be. I think that's a multiple album package. So I might have like technically. So it's a huge package. It's a huge package. It's uh, it's got some tapioca balls and. Um, what? Tapioca balls. Why would it be in the package? I don't know, because it's because because uh, Trent Reznor is uh, has a bubble tea cock. What? I don't know. He did drink his cock and some bubble tea, some tapioca balls come up. All right. So you want to talk about Thor? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do our plugs first. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. You, you can. Um, uh, so we're gonna talk about Thor um, <laughs> uh, as soon as we're done with the plugs. Um, so plugs. Uh, you can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash one seven one. Um, you can email us at hot at clarkwoods.com or you can tweet us. I'm at ECC1977. And I am at Tuesday is loser. That's Tuesday I S loser, all one word. Yeah. And, and I often tweet such great things like the show is out that Chris <laughs> just posted. Here yeah. it is again with our names changed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you occasionally post other things. Yeah, like, you know... Like pre- Chris's book came out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I have two copies of it. Who um, wants both of them? Uh, no. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'll read it eventually. Did somebody said that... Uh, uh, very quickly, um, I was post... Well, I forget what I was posting, and somebody's response... Maybe it was a YouTube video. Yeah, because I don't check my YouTube comments all that much, because I don't get that many. And so I saw a YouTube comment this morning from a video I posted so like, last first. week. No, and oh. the person was like, you're making me feel bad for not having read it. And I was like, what, what are you fucking talking about? It's, it's been out, like, a week, or like a week and a half. Last time I read a book was 2014. <laughs> it's like, most people who have it haven't read it. And it's like, I, I, I was like, so does that mean I'm not allowed to talk about it? Because I'm making people feel guilty for not having read it yet. Just be like, hey, baby, come over and check out this Mr. Wingfield. Uh, yeah, you're, it's what you're missing. It's you're missing this you're Wingfield. You're missing this Wingfield. Um, so you, 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 you saw Thor, <laughs> and I saw Thor. I saw Thor. I So 
I saw Thor on Thor's day. You mean Thursday? On Thursday, which is Thor's day. Okay. Um, I had to work till six fifteen, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to do like a nine o'clock show. Um, I wanted to do a seven o'clock show, so I looked for what's the closest theater, and technically the closest theater that I could see it on the big old IMAX was Assembly Square in Somerville, Ooh. and it was a fucking bitch to get in there. To, I, so you drove? Well, yeah, you don't take the train. Yeah, so I drove. I mean, I don't think. <laughs> I think if I were to take the T, it would be it would have taken me twice as long because I would have had to change trains. Yeah, but a get, you had to and, take the red line to the orange line. Yeah, and, yeah. So I so I drove, but it was a bitch to get in there. It was a bitch to get out of there, and I don't think I'll ever go there again, even though it was one of the nicer theaters I've been to. Um. Well, at least you made it in time. I did make it in time. And, you know, because of the way theaters work these days, my seat was reserved. It wasn't like I was I was going to, you know, fight did you some... A, did you have a cocktail? I didn't have a I cocktail. I think the movie theaters have, like, the bubble tea wrap, and you can get a big old straw. I should, without I the should, balls. Maybe I should have had a cocktail. Just relax. I a mean, cocktail just, without balls. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one for you. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take much. Um, but then I saw Thor. I saw Thor, uh, the, the Ragnarok. Um, and uh, you guys saw it last night. At the um, at the Fine Arts Theater in, mm-hmm. here in uh, lovely Maynard, Massachusetts. Yes. Much more accessible. If you, than... if, if you are. Yeah. I mean, if we, had, if we hadn't been a bunch of sickos, mm. uh, we would have uh, walked. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, did you, did you, did, did, what did you think? I, I very much enjoyed it. It was a very fucking funny movie. Yes. It's, uh, I, 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 yes. Uh, I actually slapped my knee at one point because I'm an old was man. Was it a real knee slapper? What joke was it? <laughs> I forget what it was, but there was a guy right next to me and him and his pal had to get up to go to the fucking bathroom more times. Than, like, I. Maybe they were us- drinking each other's pee. I'm usually the one that has to get Not up to the bathroom. Not that there's anything wrong with it. No. Um, and that's why I always grab um, the seat at the very end because if I'm going to have to run to get to the bathroom, I mean I know it's not the best seat in the theater, but I don't want to inconvenience anybody, so I always go to the seat at the end. And I didn't, I didn't have to go once during the show. Huh. But these guys went like two or three fucking times. Anyway, Did you pee right before is that? Uh... I pee right before. I usually try to time it so that I <laughs> pee during what I think is going to be the last trailer. So I run out. Um, uh, while the last trailer is is happening, and then you know, pee, wash my hands real quick, run back in, uh, tends to work out all right. Um, what was oh? So I forget what joke it was when I slapped my knee, but I think the guy was really annoyed with me, and I was like, "Fuck him!" He made me move like I had to do like the scoot over thing. I um, thought it was like the reclining seats. Uh, this was well, so it's an AMC, and they're not reclining seats. No, oh, it's just like a regular. Well, because I think most of their seats are reclining seats, but if you see the IMAX, they're not. They uh, they tilt a huge... back a little bit, but they uh, don't do the full on recline, and then the it's not as wide a, an aisle. Anyway, I made a groan today earlier, uh, and this is going to be funny because like. Mm. This has nothing to do with Thor. I know we, we said and, we're going to spoil and, it, and, I don't and now we're, we're not spoiling anything. Um, <laughs> you could put it put it in the show notes if we don't end up spoiling it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like we we say that we're going to spoil it, but, but we, we don't. don't. <laughs> uh, one of the guys I work with, like I made a groan earlier because I was just sick of coughing and being sick or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, that groan sounded like a, a, there was like this YouTube video, mm. like a parent sitting outside like the the stall of a kid. Yeah. Like, well, the kid is 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 pooping <laughs> okay. and the kid it just groans and said, oh, my God, I ate so much. And then starts listing all the things that they ate. <laughs> and apparently I sounded just like that kid. You sounded just like that kid. <laughs> um, what was your what, I, I, so. Why do you think? So did you like the first two Thors no, at all? No, yeah. no, I fell asleep through. Like I've said this several times. Yeah, <laughs> I fell asleep through the second one. Like yeah. I don't like they were on some shuttle, mm-hmm. traveling from one place to another, and yeah. I was at like a late, and then I, <laughs> like, I, I, nothing had happened when I woke up. Right. I think I might have been out for at least ten, maybe fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that that I. It was I, fun, like at the beginning of the movie when they had the the little play. To show you, uh, like, this <laughs> yes. is what happened in the last movie that you probably forgot. <laughs> that you might have slept through. <laughs> like the half in the bag guys, like they had like a, a little quiz at the mm. at the beginning of their review. Yeah. Or it's like they're just asking questions about the first two Thor movies and yeah. they, they got all of them wrong. 
And they're like, we've I, reviewed both of those movies. I just think, I, I think for me at least, the um, for me, um, the uh, the Thor movies are at the bottom of the um, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe sort of uh, barrel. Like I just, they're not, they're not the greatest. The first one is kind of fun. Um, it's not the it's greatest. It's like a fish out of water. Yeah, kinda. it's not the greatest. It's but it has a sense of humor to it that the second one is lacking entirely. Yeah, the second one was just like dreary. Yeah, and that that of course is the one I get to start watching during my workouts tomorrow. I'm really oh cool. I'm really that'll really motivate you. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but, but uh, yeah. So this one was was so refreshing because they obviously are. Hemsworth is having a lot of fun poking fun at himself. He's a funny guy. Yeah. Um, and uh, and everyone else in it has a lot of fun. I mean... <laughs> like, the, the only thing that I wish there was more of mm. was Goldblum. Yeah, yeah. Like, Goldblum was so good in every... Yeah. Like, I, I think that's probably why, like, he wasn't, is because the other actors were like, yeah. he steals every scene he's in. <laughs> like, we can't have him, like... Right. Like, you know, this isn't a spoiler when, like, you know, she's they're on like the 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 his ship or whatever. Yeah. The, and his ship doesn't have any weapons, and so right. like he pushes a button or something. Like, there's got to be something, and and then pushes a button, and it's like a fucking birthday song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it, it, when he when Goldblum is on screen, he is so Goldblum, and he's ha- he's having so much fun. I mean, yeah. That that's the thing. So having done some acting, um, I. And I said this, I did a very quick um, review of the film right after I saw it um, on my my YouTube. Um, I don't think, like, Kate Blanchett does not have the most substantial um, uh, character arc ever written. You know, Marvel has a villain problem. They, they Their villains are never the greatest. At, but, as an actor, watching Kate Blanchett have as much fun as Kate Blanchett is having. Yeah. Just, like, you know, tearing people apart and, like, saying evil things. Uh, you know, evil queen kind of dialogue. Like she's just, she's having fun. And Goldblum, yes, I think that's. The, I think uh, to wrap up, um, that's probably the only thing I would have liked more of. Because, like, I mean, he. I mean, he. He's he's an antagonist, mm-hmm. and he's just like, he's just like. Kate Blanchett was was very powerful. Right, she was just a, a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, but. Like and and Jeff Goldblum wasn't. Yeah, he no. was just a weird, charming guy. Yes, and that that got him to where he is. Yeah, he's he's so damn good. I and like what, what was it like the, the those the one scene where like they're, they're asking um, where where the the prisoners are or whatever, mm-hmm. and, and like like one of the guys interrupts him. Yeah, and then the, the lady next to him gives him like this stick that like in an earlier scene had completely liquefied the person. <laughs> right. And and he goes, don't give me that. Like he interrupted me. That's not a capital offense. <laughs> it's, yes, it's it's just it's it's so well done. It's it's by people who, uh, and are, yet what, are uh, are um, from the, New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and yet I don't feel like they, as much as they were trying to tear down what was there before, I think they were tearing down what was there before out of a place of love, not out of a place of like that stuff was complete shit. Like even though it kind of was complete shit. Like they, um, they like this character. They like the quirkiness of this character. The the lovable meathead, I think, is how they've described him. What they were going for. Um, I was bummed that there's a line in the trailer I really like. Um, one of the more recent trailers where uh, where Banner points to his head and says, um, uh, the, says this is the this biggest muscle in the body, and then Thor says. Uh, well, I have more muscles, so technically more brains. And and Hemsworth <laughs> does a great delivery of it, and I was bummed I didn't see that in the movie unless I... Uh, yeah, unless I, I, I don't think it was. Um, but uh, you, you were Captain Didn't Pee, so you saw the I, whole movie. I saw the whole movie. I was not, unless, I, unless I went into a, a pee-induced uh, or my bladder-induced uh, fever dream. Okay. Like, each of those like stories mm. like could have been a separate movie. Yeah, and and maybe would have been. I think they, they probably each of them might. Well, actually, the the Kate Blanchett part mm. might not have been as good. Yeah, like if it was just like them in very serious fighting. Yeah, I heard so, she like, was supposed to be possibly the villain of the second one. So I want like not Kate Blanchett but Hella, and I wonder if that if they they made a really good call in in not using her until this one because uh, yeah i mean because then she would have been like oh, i was in the fucking garbage one <laughs> yeah 
but the like but like the the goblum like place and 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 this isn't re- we're not really spoiling we're not really i mean we're kind of you know we're kind of dancing, dancing around it, it. Yeah. yeah um but the goblum place where where his 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 uh him, him, like goblumming yeah <laughs> yeah there's there was something that we noticed during the credits mm. um sam neil Yes. Of Jurassic Park fame. <laughs> yes. Is in this movie. He is. As, um, as the actor Odin at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and, um, uh, the, and Matt Damon. Um, I, did, I missed Matt Damon. Matt Damon was the actor Loki. Was he? He was. Yes. Yeah, so if you Holy go, shit. They put a lot of makeup on they him. They did. And, and <laughs> apparently, so there was an interview with Kevin Feige, um, uh, who's the executive producer at Marvel. And they, they ask him, they say, you know, when Sam Jackson came on to set for the very first Iron Man, that was spoiled by the end of that day. And they did like all sorts of shit to make like Sam Jackson arrived in a different car. He never got out of the car while he was, uh, you know, while he was on set. Matt Damon was apparently in Australia or New Zealand, wherever they were filming for like <laughs> three days. And nobody had any idea that Matt Damon was great. in this movie. <laughs> I missed that when we were um, watching the credits, but we, uh, we saw Sam Neill and we're like, what? Yeah, no, so Matt Damon was... And then um, one of Chris Hemsworth's brothers, not... Is it, is it the Westworld one or no? It might be the Westworld one, is the one who was playing Thor. Like in the in the, the in the play, in the play, play version of yeah. of the end of the second movie. Oh, it's so good. That 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 whole bit was was um, yeah. I mean no. Anyway, we're we're, we're over time. Like we yeah. I mean the, the, I mean it was a great great movie. The the Doctor Strange cameo was good. I think it actually linked one of the um, like end sequences mm-hmm. of uh, it, I think it Doctor was Strange. Doctor Strange. Yep. yep. Yeah. to like I think it might have been the exact same scene I think it was they, they've done that a few times and it was it was an extended version of that same scene <clears throat> um, they did the same thing at the end of Ant-Man where they showed um, part of uh, Captain America Civil War um, bits of it that they had shot and and they, they I think they did the same thing at the end of uh, Iron Man 2 and they showed a bit of Thor, Thor. so it's it, it's something they have done I wonder whether they do that for like <laughs> SAG after like actor union things, because they can say, uh, "Yeah, we've got these big name people, uh, and we're not paying them that much for this movie, but they're actually, you know, their footage is from this." I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It was a good movie. So if you were butt hurt, or if mm. your your butt was Thor mm. from the first two movies, <laughs> you will sure as hackers love the third one. When a Ragnarok hits you right in the buns.